Hello everyone. I'm going to show you two of my creations for the Captain Sparkles adventure map. This is the first one. I haven't got the timing to work right. I'll show that later. But um, first I'll tell you what it's supposed to do. You come in here. Uh, these shouldn't be moving uh, when you come in. They should start moving when you press the button. And the door closes and that door will open after a certain amount of time and in the meantime you have to try to survive in here but as you see it isn't working this is what's supposed to happen that one slice of lava comes down and you have to evade it and try to survive until the door opens like that but uh, there aren't far enough slices coming down and when I tried to keep the pistons open longer uh, the whole room flooded with lava so you should be able to get it working because it is bringing down some slices it just not uh, they're just not common enough so uh, because I really didn't know how to approach this and I had little room I just took some repeaters and manually uh, created a clock by putting a torch on it and removing it and so far this is the best result I've gotten but I'm sure you can get it working better if you try some more with the repeaters get a nice uh, consistent clock going. Uh, this is a system that uh, makes sure it takes some time before the door opens. You can always add on repeaters to make it longer, but that's pretty much that. I'm going to turn it off so because it's kind of laggy for so I can show you the next thing. This is lots a lot simpler. I'm guessing it's already been done, but um, at least this one works the way I want to. So I press the button. What happens is uh, the signal gets sent down to a clock, and um, this piston pushes a block down, so you can't push the button more than once. And it's basically a dynamic jumping puzzle. The blocks move up and down and you have to jump at the right time. The one thing uh, with this is that there is some kind of bug with pistons that when a block falls down uh, during the period it is falling down the physics engine doesn't know that there is a block and you uh, end up inside the block with your feet kind of um, and it slides you off like it tries to um, push you out of a like when I put this in there let me get my sand block back when you put this in there and you put a block on top it pushes that up it does the same thing with your character when the block comes down you are inside uh, the block for a small amount of time and it tries to push you out and when it does that it pushes you to the sides but you can maybe add just a sign like saying um, falling sand is slippery uh, watch out or something it's you can make it a feature just as much as a bug in this case now let me try to get to the end but the mechanism behind this is really simple it's just a clock under the ground that I activated with the button and yeah it looks like I'm not getting there it's a short jumping bit but it's really tricky uh, also because of 
the slippery blocks. Let me just demonstrate it. I'm not touching anything right now and I'm sliding off. But that's pretty much it. Um, I really like the idea of this thing but see it's already flooded because of the randomness of the clock I made. It really should work better if you make a better clock attached to it and this is really simple but I haven't seen it done a lot and it gives a new twist to the regu regular jumping puzzle. Hope you liked them. Bye.